Using cell references in formula makes our life easy. The job itself is convenient as well. But what if you want to add a cell reference from another worksheet? The task gets even more difficult if it has to add multiple sheets for reference in one formula. Doesn't it? Let's make it easier for you. Hello there, this is Faria Tumim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. As you can see, there is selling information for 6 months in this dataset. Now we want to add total price and quantity across all these sheets to a separate worksheet. We will discuss 4 ways to add this. We will use Excel 365 here. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In column D, we want to find total prices of the product over 6 months. Here we will manually create formula for multiple sheets. In cell D5, we will add prices from the 6 sheets for Apple. In all the source sheets, the Apple price is at D5, as you can see. Now, in cell D5, in our manually worksheet, type equal, since it is the way to start any formula in Excel. Now, the name of our first source sheet is Jan. So, Jan, add an exclamation sign. Now, the cell reference, which is D5, plus, repeat the process for rest of the five months. So, Feb, D5, plus, Mar. As you can see, the name of the sheets are case sensitive. As a result, even if we use the name of the sheets in small letter, it will edit them as the sheets name are. Enter. So this is the price of Apple throughout the six months. As you can see from the formula bar, the sheet names are already changed into the original form. In column D, we will add the selling prices in column D of our source sheets. It will get us the total price. And in column E, we will add the total quantities, which are also in column E of our source sheets. We will left click on these sheets to add reference in this method. In cell D5, type equal. Now, left click on sheet Jan. Here, select D5, where the price of Apple is. Use plus sign. Now, left click on sheet named Feb. Again, click D5. Now, repeat the process till June. Enter. Now, you can see the total price of Apple in our result worksheet that we have named left clicking. The formula will be same for both column D and column E. So, let's copy the formula using fill handle to E5. Our total quantity will be in number. So, let's change the format to general. Now, select D5 to E5 and use fill handle to drag till D40 to E14. It will get us the total price and total quantity of every items. Left clicking ensures us the result and it is way more faster. In this method, we will create a formula by utilizing 3D reference. It is highly effective and handy if you have the same type of data across multiple sheets. The 3D reference is a common practice in Microsoft Excel to call single or multiple cells from different worksheets. You need to click on one sheet as the start sheet and click on another as the end sheet while holding the shift key and mention the cell or cell range you need. The arrangement in this way is how 3D reference is created. Now here, to calculate the total price, we will create 3D reference of all the source sheets and cell reference as D5. Let's type equal. Since we will add, let's try some function. Tab. Now left click on our first source sheet, which is January. Now holding the shift key, click on June. And in the January sheet, click on D5. Enter. If you look at the formula bar, you can see that January to June, all the sheets are merged together. This is how 3D referencing is done. And we can get our total price as well. Now we can just use fill handle to drag to E5 since it will have same formula. 
you can see that it's giving us the total quantity which is in E5. You can see that in E5 the quantity value is here. Now the total quantity is of number so let's change the format to general. Now click on D5 to E5 and use fill handle to drag till D40 to E14. Now we have all the total prices and total quantity according to order date and items. This method is faster than the previous ones. But if your sheets are not placed together or your cell references from the source sheets are not the same, you should stick to the first two methods. In the previous methods, we have opted to select sheet selection multiple times or twice. You can do the sheet and cell selection once and define a name for it. You can directly use the reference without any further selection. To name a range, we have included the use of the define name option to select a cell from six adjacent worksheets. Now select cell D5 to click on formulas tab. From the define names group, click on define name. From the new name window, select the name you want to select for your data range. Here, let's choose total underscore price. Note that naming doesn't include any spaces so we have added underscore. In the refers to option click on January holding the shift key click on June. You can release the shift key now. Now click on cell reference D5. Make sure to remove these absolute signs using F4 three times. Ok. Now choose cell D5 and enter equals sum tab now write total price from our suggestion we will choose total price let's use the tab key enter now this value refers to all the six source cells summation for d5 cell let's copy it till e5 and it is the total quantity since it is number let's change format going to home tab from the number group select general now let's click on both of them and use double click it will autofill these cells and if you click any of them you can see that it's showing some total price and these values are respectively for their source sheets this method will return the total price and total quantity of each items from the column make sure to remember the name or you will need to check it from the name manager option here if you have aforementioned cell reference for a name, you can't overwrite it unless you delete the previous reference first. Now, if you want to calculate average of the quantity for 6 months, we can just use average function instead of sum function. Let's try it. Average tab. Total price tab. Enter. Double click to autofill. Now these values represent the average of these 6 months. Using these 4 methods, you can easily create a formula for multiple sheets and you can use any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this problem with the help of the excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.